Step one is make sure you deposit some stacks into your STX wallet there. See, I've deposited 100 already. Step two, you wanna load up a browser and go to stx20.com. Now there are two different ways to do this and I'll show you both. Next, you wanna search for a ticker that you've heard about or something that you're interested in. For this example, we're just gonna show Pepe. Couple of important things here. You wanna note that make sure it hasn't minted out, but also the mint limit. An important number, because that's the maximum amount you can mint with each transaction. Next, inscribe. And putting the ticket Pepe and the destination, this can't be the same wallet. So I've copied one from another account I had. And the amount this is from before, 6969. Next, you'll mint, and as usual, you go the option to customize those settings. But you might notice under attached memos, it says mpepe6969. And that's basically the information that's being shared in that transaction. There's a couple of things in here that we definitely recommend checking. One is the fee rate, and actually comparing that to what other people are using at the moment, as fee rates can fluctuate quite quickly. Using explorer.hero.so, you can quite easily get an idea for what people are spending in their transaction fees. Just look out for the transactions that are using 1 1 millionth of an STX. They're typically the STX 20 mints. The other part is the nonce. Now that number should increase with every transaction you create. So just double checking those numbers to make sure you've got the best chance of getting through. That transaction is broadcasted. Now the other way you can do it is actually just by sending a transaction to another wallet that you own. So the amount would be 0 0.00001, so five zeros and a one. The recipient is the person that you're sending, you want to actually mint those tokens to. And then the memo is M for mint, Pepe, and then the ticker, and then the amount. They're the two different ways that you can get an STX20 token in your hands.